Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is kind of a haul, get ready with me. Kind of, kind of, kind of, um, I ordered a couple things from Ulta. You guys know I'm not, last year I was on like a really low buy, like a really low buy. And this year I'm still going to be on a low buy. But, um, I cleared out pallets. I did a declutter and it's time to bring in some new stuff. I know, I know. So I was on Ulta and these two palettes really grabbed my eye. This is the Morphe 9V Vintage Rose and this is the 9E Pretty in Peach. Now you guys know these these two color schemes are like two of my favorites. Rose and Peach. I just those are like some of my favorite color palettes. Um so I want to take these out. I want to pick one to play with today and I can tell you today is going to be a um throw on a hair day because my psoriasis is raging today all over I took a shower my skin is on fire um it's I'm burning like I've, I've put medicine on it but um when I got out of the shower but my skin is on fire and I don't know if you guys can see but I know this side is worse. This side was like really red and irritated all up in there. It hurts. It hurts so bad around my ears. It hurts around my waist. It hurts. It just hurts children. So um, today is going to be a throw on some hair day because I just don't want all that red, irritated, inflamed um, scalp showing today. I just don't. Even though I'm only going to be at work for like four hours. <sighs> we're gonna we're gonna wear some hair and i'm gonna wear the new dahlia if you didn't see dahlia i will leave her linked up above i just unboxed her she is so cute um i'm gonna wear her today she's a new one i did wear uh boo -boo i won a gift card from wig studio one and um let me see which one i want to do so I ordered a wig. I want a gift card, a $50 gift card. That was amazing. Thank you so much, Wig Studio One. This is the peach. Oh, see what I'm saying? How pretty that's going to be for the summer. And let me show you the rose. I am wearing black and white. So I think this one is the one I'm going to use. Very muted, very pretty. The shimmers. Let me get up in there so you guys. The shimmers. Oh my gosh, how pretty. So yeah, I think I'm going to use rose today and put you down in the drawer I do have a shade that I can set my eyeshadow in I did also get two Morphe brushes one is um, my all-time fave the 4EE so I have another one of those because that is just my favorite brush that is this one that it just fits my eye so so good so i'm just going to tuck that in the cup but i saw this one this is the four five six which is basically the same brush but a little bit smaller so i grabbed it and these are only like seven or eight dollars a brush and i think i had i had a coupon of some sort and it was i think free ship so and I got a free lipstick for purchasing something. I don't know, because all I bought was Morphe. Um, but I did get a free Kylie Jenner lipstick. It is in the shade Nova, and it's a nude. And I don't know, you guys know me in nudes. They are growing on me. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, for foundation, I am using that Pure Lease BB Cream. And I just have it here. With some concealer or here i should say i just have it here because i'm going to be wearing a mask all day you're not even really going to see i mean you know i'm going to be wearing a mask so i'm going to go into this palest shade which is that's classic i guess if we go by yeah that's classic those confuse me sometimes the layout on the back not a lot of kick up just uh, you know actually not hardly any at all so that's good so now my brow bone is already highlighted and i have a base shadow down so i'm going to go into 
These two shades are very similar. One is just more gray and one's a little bit more rose. I think I'm going to go into the gray and be different because you guys know I don't wear a lot of gray. It does have a mauve tone to it, but it is more gray. Guys, did you watch my FabFitFun unboxing? Um, I'll leave it linked up above too. <laughs> we got a lot of comments on that video. Um, I did go on FabFitFun's Instagram and I left a comment, you know, that it was, um, I was disappointed in this box. It was very much like dollar store items with a jacked up retail. And there were so many comments saying the same thing. So many people were not happy at all um, with the items. Um, it was, uh, so I wonder if FabFitFun is going to, take it to heart but I know they probably already have you know they already have like every year's boxes kind of planned out the year before you know they have to have it planned out so I wonder if they're scrambling <laughs> to change anything for the next season's box or you know or if they're I don't know it was just very disappointing and guys the flowers the flowers I have them right here I like these flowers I mean I do um, if I wasn't wearing hair today, I might even put these in my wig. I don't know. These are cute. I love them. But not at a $30 retail. Just put a retail that is appropriate. That's all I'm saying. Put a retail that is appropriate. Um, put a $5 retail on them and then put something else in the box. <laughs> you know, if you're going to put a dollar sippy cup in there that looks like a cactus... Give it an appropriate retail. Don't jack it up to a $20 plastic sippy cup, you know? <laughs> I'm going to come into this one. And just so you can see. There's not hardly any kick up at all. Um, I don't know if this is going to deepen this up any or not. Oh, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. But we're going to go in that deepest shade, so. Oops, wrong shade, Shannon. Wrong shade. I went into the first shade, so that's fine. <sighs> but, yeah, so I do have another wig coming because I want a gift card. Um, it's a Noriko. It is an average cap. Now, the other Noriko I have is a large cap, and it fits fine. So, I'm probably going to have to splice this one which is fine i know how to do it it's fine i'm going to use that little baby the little baby one the, the four five six i'm going to go into the darkest shade we're just building up that intensity and then we're going to use one of those beautiful shimmers so i'm just going to barely tap into that and we're going to pat and pull it forward do you see that motion just picking up a little we're gonna pat and then we're gonna go up make that v-shape oh i'm liking this brush i'm liking this brush already okay but so yeah i have may from noriko coming and she's kind of another shorter style um, I like the shorter styles just because they're less maintenance when you wear them. Um, you're not having to worry about the fibers on your neck fraying or getting kind of snazzy. They're a little less maintenance. I'm just taking that color now. I'm just kind of buffing it. Out and up a little bit. Nice. Um, now, I want my little bitty motor brush. My little bitty motor brush. This one. See, it's so little. I'm going to come in with this shade, which is Forget Me Nots, which is a nice, kind of taupey, dark taupey. And I'm just going to blend it in with that dark brown that we put in the corner 
Just get a rod right up above it. So you just ride right up here and kind of pull it down. Okay, cleaning my brush off really good in a switch. And you know I've got to go with this up here. So let's go ahead and put that up here. Not as bright as I thought it was going to be. It's pretty, but not as like bright. But you can build it up. So then right in the center. Oh, no. Let's, let's take this pink and see what happens. Just pat, 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 pat. The pink is a matte with shimmer in it, is what it looks like. It looks like a matte with some shimmer, some glitter in it. Pretty. Okay. Keeping that same brush, I'm going to clean it off really good. I'm going to come back into the colors I used, and I'm just going to turn this mirror around. And yeah, peel the um, protector off and use this mirror. A little bit of fallout, nothing bad. We'll sweep it away. Okay, now I'm going to grab the liner brush and I'm going to go into that darkest shade. I'm going to hold it out so it doesn't get on my shirt. Does anybody watch American Gods? We have been watching that one. Um, we have been watching... Um, what is the other one we watched? Men in Kilts. We've been watching that one. I love that one. That's hilarious. Um, we was watching an older one. <sighs> an older one called Pie in the Sky. It's from like the early 90s. Um, and you'll recognize a lot of faces in there, especially if you watch like um, Harry Potter, um, EastEnders, any of the, you know, like anything BBC. If you watch a lot of BBC, you'll recognize a lot of faces in that um, program. Uh, mascara, I'm just going to reach in and grab. I grabbed Voluminous Carbon Black. But, um, my Death in Paradise is getting ready, or it might already be on BritBox, but I took BritBox off because we was watching, I put on, I took BritBox off and put on, what did I put on there? Stars. So we could watch the Men in Kilts. I love carbon black, but yeah, um, so I'll have to put Brit box on and, um, at some point so I can watch my death in paradise. We like British shows. Um, we, we just do, um, they're just more witty. They're more entertaining. There's a lot less, um, just the bull crap that you see in a lot of American TV shows. There's not as much, um, like sexual, sexually, um, how would you say it? It's, you know, just, you see some stuff, but it's not like all sexual, sexualized. You know what I'm saying? Where a lot of American TV shows is just, sex, violence, drugs, sex, violence, drugs, that kind of thing. Um, British TV is more witty. It's just, we just like it better. So we watch a lot of it. But um, we watch a lot of Acorn. BBC, we just put BBC America on there, but I think he's going to take it off. Because um, there's not a whole lot on that one. 
I have a dip right there. We're going to put a little bit of brow wax in there just to even that up. This is just my little elf. And I just use the wax. I wish they would just do a wax, like a wax palette, like three shades of wax in it. Have like a little bald spot right here. We'll cover that in. And then we'll just fill in to make it look even. Just like that. But yes, Elf, if you see this, do a brow wax palette with like three shades of wax. Lighter to darker. Because a lot of people start out light and go to darker on the tail. Um, or even maybe two, just two shades of wax. That would be awesome. Thank you. <laughs> that would be so awesome. I always clean my brush off. Yes, this is a dryer sheet. It just happens to be here. It works. It cleans it really good. So that's what I'm using. Um, I did get the lippy. Guys, I think I'm going to keep this lippy and put it in my next giveaway, which we're getting close. Um, we're only about 80 away from 2000. So this Kylie lipstick will go in the giveaway and it is a pretty nude. It would be great for any skin tone. Um, so that will go in the giveaway. I will do a highlight because I like doing a little bit of highlight up here and the mask doesn't seem to get all up in that. So let me open my highlight drawer and I'm just gonna reach in and grab and first thing on top is Miss Laura Lee. So we'll just grab that one. This is the glazed lit kit and this is the lightest, the lightest palette and I think I'm gonna go with the lightest shade. I'm just gonna dip in. And keep it kind of up high. And that's that's the makeup I do for, you know, if I'm wearing a mask for several hours um, at work. I just do the perimeter of my eyes. Do like I usually do. BB cream, concealer, powder. Do it just like I normally do. But there's nothing down here but skincare. There's nothing down there but skincare. Um... I found some of the, the clips like I've been looking for, but these are not the big ones. These are the small ones, and they will not hold all of my hair um, for a wig. So, I need a hair bow. But yes, my psoriasis is raging. You guys can see, like, there's a spot in there that is, like, really raw. Um... It hurts today. So we're going to wear some hair today to work. And I don't think one of these will hold um, hold my hair. I don't think it will. It's just too little. I might could use two and like divide it, which is what I thought about doing. I could do a section over here. I still think that is too much hair for, see, I can't even get it closed. And that's just, that's half. So I have found these on Amazon and it's the bigger one. So I'm hoping, um, I'm hoping that they work. <laughs> Grab my wig grip because those are too small. Okay, let's get everybody pulled up and ready to go and pulled back a little bit. And I'm going to be wearing Dahlia, and I did put her back in all of her net, paper, everything. I always put them back unless I have them sitting out. 
and I'm going to turn her upside down and shake her because I didn't do that in the video because I didn't know for sure if I wanted to keep her or not. So I'm going to shake her up. I'm going to rough up the permatease. I didn't do that either. Just going to get in there and really get my fingers in that permatease all over. Get her nice and kind of floofed out. Get those fibers aerated and apart. Well, I think I see a string. Let me snip that because I don't want... Actually, it's a hair that's just kind of gotten really kinky. <laughs> <laughs> I want a string, but I'm going to cut it off. It's just one little hair that looked kind of wonky. Okay. This one is kind of hard to put on because the bangs are wanting to curl like up. So I'm going to grab my ponytail, stick it completely up under, pull her down, and there we go. <laughs> I'm going to grab my ear tabs. Just lift up and scoot her up a little bit. She can probably go up just a hair, a bit more. And I could still trim those bangs just a little bit, but um, right now I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna sweep them to the side. Make sure I'm good and covered. Speaking of strings, string on my shirt. This is a new shirt, so please do not cut. I may have to take it off to get that, but. All right, guys, that is my look for today. This is what I'm wearing to work. I do like this one because I can pull out a little bit of my hair here. And I did trim my sideburns just a little so I could do that. So I can pull out a little bit of my hair and it can still get tucked and it blends in pretty good there. I mean, you don't really notice since I colored it, but there we go. That's what I'm wearing to work. All right, guys, as always, and I need to touch a lip balm because my lips are so dry. Lip balm, lip balm, lip balm. Anywhere, anywhere. I love this lip balm, and I think it retailed at like $30, and I'm like, what the heck? It is so good, though. Go figure. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Be sure you give this video a thumbs up. Hit subscribe. Like I said, a 2K giveaway is coming. A Pandora bracelet, which is international, and a makeup skincare uh, box will be United States only. So two giveaways at the 2K mark. Um, thank you guys so much for just always hanging out with me, commenting, and chatting with me down below. And if you like this one, she will be listed in the cards up above at the beginning. Her name is Dahlia from Polly Young. I need to finish fixing my ponytail in the back. But yes, I'll see you guys on the next one.